Hello and welcome to the devotion for Friday, January the 9th, entitled, Train Yourself. Now, when we talked Sunday morning, we said that there were two things that we truly can control, our attitude and our actions. But one of the things that we need to understand about our actions is that we are creatures of habit. The things that we do repetitively become the very nature of who we are and how we react. I remember when I was uh, in flight school, uh, back uh, when I was uh, working on my private pilot's license, and we, three or four times, every time I went up in the airplane with my instructor, he would flip off the power and go, you just lost power, what are you going to do? And there was a whole checklist of things. We had to check the magnetos. We had to check uh, the carburetor heat. We had all these different procedures that we had to go through of everything that could possibly be there. We had to do them in the same order, the same sequence over and over again. Now, why did we have to do that? Because in a true crisis, we'd panic and forget everything if it hadn't become something that we had trained and ingrained that this is the way I will react. For most of us, if we're going to live a life that is filled with wisdom and direction and understanding and passion and vision, it's not just going to show up because we hope it will show up. What we are, how we live, is what is going to always come out in those crisis moments. That's the reason in 1 Timothy 4, 7 and 8, and then down in verse 12, Paul is talking to Timothy and he says, train yourself to be godly. You see, my instructor in that airplane was training me to be able to handle a crisis. And when the crisis comes, I know exactly what to do because I have trained myself. He says, train yourself to be godly. Put yourself in a position to where you make godly choices about everything and you think about that. You focus on it. You go, okay, here's the challenge before me right now. How would I deal with it? How would I work with it? How do I move this forward? How do I make this a routine, a pattern of how I live? Now he goes on and says, because physical training has some value, has some benefits to it, but godliness has value in all things, holding promise for this life and the life to come, meaning it's something worth training yourself in. It's something that has dividend and benefit, not only in our life now, but in the life to come. And then he says, set this example in your speech, in your conduct, in the way that you love, in your faith, and with purity. Now there's five things, speech, conduct, love, faith, and purity. Then I go, I wanna be trained well to respond appropriately every time a challenge comes up, especially in these areas. They won't happen if I don't train myself to act in a godly manner, to look at scripture and go, that's how I will live. That is how I will function. These are the goals and the values. If they only are in my head, but they haven't found their way into my actions, they will never become a part of who I am and never will they show up on those crisis moments. I have to train myself. So let's pray. Father, Lord, knowing these things, understanding these principles is not enough. We have to train ourselves to live them out daily. Father, I ask that as we look at this list of five and so many other things that will come up in our week, that you will give us uh, the maturity to train ourselves to respond in ways that are, co that are uh, in congruence with the scriptures. And Lord, as we seek to do that, allow the Holy Spirit just to open our understanding, to help us to see and to live it out with passion. Father, we look for you to do that in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, guys, some great verses. Pour over them this weekend. Think about them. And I'll see you Sunday morning.